But before we go ahead, just want to show you real quickly. Did I say real quickly? You did. Director, you did tell me I said real quickly at least over a dozen times or more the last time. So I will try to stop saying real quickly. Okay. All right. So real quickly, let's uh, let's show show you take the mystery and show you how our pressure sensitive container works. Basically, here's here's a piece of cardboard. Here's one piece. Here's another piece of cardboard. And another piece of cardboard. And basically, this will take the mystery out. So you'll know, you can maybe uh, visualize how everything works once I show you this first. This will save us a lot of time. Uh, I see a smile on the director's face. Thank you. Okay, so the way it works, here's our pressure sensitive container. BPA free, food safe. And of course, our containers can be made in any uh, material. And the way it works is if you notice on the bottom, right there, any of our containers can go directly right into cardboard and seat. So let's, let's, let's take this piece of cardboard. Any thickness, any shape or form, basically that's just a piece of cardboard. Okay, and the way it works, and the reason I spend a little time on this, so then you, like I say, you can envision, visualize what's, uh, how it works. So, what we do is we would take it and it basically will self tap and becomes one. So after, say you, this was a condiment, uh, you wanted to get the rest of the, let's say ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, whatever it may be, out. You would just take this, unscrew. By the way, we also have snapping ones that work the same way or these are all protected patented snapping ones that would go right into the cardboard say it's a very thin wall or plastic you could also use it for that it would snap in and it wouldn't be too hard to remove it would take a little bit of effort but you'd be able to remove the snapping ones but the the uh, ones with threads you would just unthread it remove it of course you would do this after the content product is out so you had some say this was ketchup or mayonnaise you had X amount left in the bag so you weren't able to get it through well then you might have to squeeze the container a little more to get the rest of it out so you'd be able to then draw this out so envision this with ketchup now you would do is just open it up and you would just take it you could spin it twist it any way you like and then just remove the remaining content now you could take this unscrew wash it out or you could actually refill it with ketchup and use it over and over again all of these cardboard containers can be used over and over again until uh, they uh, they actually get enough where they can't be used anymore but you could get good use out of the cardboard container this portion like i say can be uh, reused cleaned or just actually refilled at the time so let's just put this back together Okay, so if you were to reassemble it, you would open this up. This would have to be placed. This is if you wanted to refill it. You would actually have to place it right back in. Turn it. And then, once it's inside, then you would actually refill our pressure sensitive container to its maximum capacity. Fill it right up until it starts coming up the top. Product, whatever it may be. Brace it back. Like And also, one good thing about our pressure sensitive container, our pressure sensitive container, unlike all other um, um, containers, do not require air, outside air, and anything in the air to be drawn back into the container to then be squeezed to then expel the content. With our pressure sensitive container, no air ever gets mixed with the uh, inside our pressure sensitive container, or like I say, our expanding and contracting pressure sensitive container, which we'll show you a little later. All right, so that's the way this would work. And then you would just snap it back on. Also, just so you know, just to show you, 
I'm not going to say very quickly, because you knew I was going to say that. Even the thinnest of cardboard, the thinnest of cardboard, it will work. This is just to show you. Look how thin that is. So, depending on the content product and the weight of what you need to place in it, and like I say, our containers can be made in any thickness, can even be made in wax paper, bags, uh, uh, which we'll show you. So here we go, look, I'm tightening that right up. Pretty tight. Okay, same. So, basically, this is all the portion that would need to be recycled. This is the only portion that needs to be recycled. Um, and eventually, what we are working on is making, oh, let me explain. Every top, every sprayer, everything that you see here does not belong to me. These were uh, dispensers, sprayers that I removed from uh, other plastic containers that were basically in the recycling bins. I asked some people, they gave me some sprayers. So we put everything together here using other uh, pumps and sprays from various uh, uh, containers that were empty. And then the rest we recycled. All right, so the way this would work, you place it in, you could fill it. Like I say, also because our pressure sensitive containers require no outside air being drawn in to then expel the content out, um, it's basically, you could say, nah, you can't say air free, but it, I would say it could be very much air free, especially if we're using a one way valve. Uh, basically, ketchup containers have this a two-way where when you squeeze it, the content comes out and then you put the container down and it has to draw back, suck air, and then you just and then turn it around and squeeze it and back and forth, back and forth. So that outside air, whatever is in the, whatever is in the area, gets pulled in each and every time. So it's mixing always with all the condiment, condiments and, like I say, lotions and sprays, but we'll get to that later. All right, so another thing. Real quickly, I said it. Here's another one. This is the only portion that you need to, that are the way our containers are made. That's all the plastic. Everything else is cardboard. And basically, this could actually um, hold any ounces, 32, 20, 18, 14, whatever the ounces. We could always place it in our containers. Oh, look at this. Hold on a minute. Look what I found. Maybe we'll use this for later, Director. Oh. Hold on. Hmm. I got something up. You put that to good use in a little while. So, also, to also further remove the mystery, here is basically uh, our cardboard tube containers and that's all it is that's just a piece of cardboard paper glued and if you notice right here that's just a cardboard wall it's basically the same as this one like I say but any size container wall could be used it could be thick thin or other and the way, let's, maybe we could just show you how this would work. If we wanted to turn this into a, oh, I'm jumping the gun. All right, condiments still, if we wanted to turn this into a water bottle, all we would do, that's all it is. We would place it in. And if you notice that there's an air vent here, the reason that's there, when we're filling it, it actually relieves the pressure so the container can completely fill. Also, it acts as when you're squeezing the container, you're, you're actually expelling the product. So the container breeds, not the, uh, nothing, nothing enters inside our pressure sensitive container. It always stays basically, whatever you put in there, it stays exactly the way you put it. And when a contract filler does fill it, they put a tube down there and they would make sure that all the air is out, come all the way up to the top. And again, if you're using a one-way valve, and like I mentioned before, on these type of, actually, we, I took this off of, um, like I say, somebody was actually throwing out um, a recycled, and it does have a, a two-way valve. 
with ours, we do not need a two-way valve. So we could basically either use this one or make our own valve where it just opens. There's no drawback whatsoever in any of our containers. So it's not necessary to actually use one of these valves, but we can use it. So let's put this back together. And if you notice, i just like to show you this. There was no threads in here. I'm actually self-tapping this right in. You, little, little, little pressure. And there you go. And if you notice, when I squeeze it, the container comes right back each and every time. Okay. So let's put this aside. 